Hello. Today we are going to discuss the uh, uh, nuclear model. So by using these nuclear models, we can study uh, the properties of uh, nucleus. So we know nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. So based on the interaction between the nucleons means the, the based on interaction between the among the nucleons uh, the nuclear interactions are the two types one is a strong interaction and the other one is weak interaction so if it is strong interaction takes place between the nucleons then we can study by using liquid drop model in case we the interaction takes place between the nucleons we can study by using the we can study the um, nucleons i mean nuclear properties by using shell model and fermi gas model so here i'm not going to discuss the sequence liquid drop or collective shell model fermi gas model so here we are going to discuss the csr a, a topic right csr not get and this topic which is why i'm going to discuss first shell model so before entering this shell model so we need to discuss one or two lines about the liquid drop model okay so we already know the magic number if the protons i mean number of protons and neutrons are both are uh, 2 8 20 28 50 and 8 to 126 of uh, nucleus then it is very stable these numbers are called magic numbers, right? We all know that thing. So the liquid drop model uh, cannot explain the why some uh, nucleus having protons and neutrons both uh, 2, 8, 20 and 28, 50 and 8 to 126. So this is the major drawback. To, uh, but from other things, so I am not uh, going to discuss the liquid drop model. The, uh, Bradley. so this is the main point from liquid drop model okay so this is the failure of liquid drop models so since we don't know the exact force nature inside the nucleus we can take uh, the some guess interaction among the nucleons by using the shell model so basically shell model it is a single particle model which explain the stability of nucleus and uh, it is confirmed in the existence of the magic numbers okay so the nucleons in the nucleus moving independently the common potential is determined by the average motion of the uh, nucleus and the protons and uh, neutrons fill the energy level separately in the nucleus. So the most of the nucleons are paired. So the pair of nucleons contributes to zero nuclear spin and zero magnetic uh, momentum. The properties of uh, nucleus are found by the single unpaired, single unpaired nucleus. So these are the interactions uh, if, in case if you consider uh, the interaction between the uh, proton and neutron the potential energy uh, first they are guessing this potential energy v is uh, proportional to potential and proportional to r square uh, it is looked like the simple harmonic if you calculate this uh, thing then you can get this type of energy level we already know this thing simple is harmonic cause at okay so then they are uh, by using this uh, potential they get this one so after modifying the potential they are using this potential v of r is equal to minus v not divided by one plus r minus r divided by delta this is the other potential so after considering a few things uh, between the uh, nuclear and proton they find this type of potential by using this potential they try to explain the uh, magic numbers but they are 
but try to explain only the 2 and 8 and 20 so if they are considering for example one as state so n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 they get 2 here they are successfully explained to number and they are considering the one piece state yeah, they try to explain this this thing so the, the number of uh, protons and neutrons are the six so they got here the six plus uh, two eight and they are considering the 1d state this is two states so are really similar to between two state this 20 next state they got here 40 not uh, 28 and uh, 50 okay 28 also they, they got this one 28 also so up to 28 up to 28 or uh, 20 you get correct information the so next magic number they find 40 not the 50. It's the drawback here by using this potential. Still, they are missing something. It is not uh, entirely wrong, but it is correct up to some levels. So, 2, 8, 20. They try to find the what are the other um, interactions uh, involving among the nucleons. They finally realize the in orbital interaction takes place between the nucleons so therefore they are considering the spin orbital this is the main information spin orbital interaction so this spin orbital interaction is minus a this is uh, some function so it is better to use one like this for, for the function so for uh, simplification i'm uh, considering this type of function a minus a interaction between the, the nucleons so after adding this uh, extra term interaction they try to solve for this uh, hamiltonian of the system so we already discussed this type of hamilton hamilton if you use the simple harmonic motion if you consider one by two h cross one divided by two kx square i mean kr square or kx square then you can get simple harmonic oscillation energy if they try to modify this potential energy like this they get this type of potential this type of uh, energy levels so extra term is the spin orbital interaction this one minus a l dot s so here i'm going to find this what is the l dot a value okay so here i've added uh, this extra term so like this uh, energy of the system so here i try to find the what is l dot s okay we know j is equal to l plus s right the next step is uh, if you square this one you can get this one by using this one here the l dot s is there and try to arrange this equation like this then you can get the l dot s values we know Hagen values of uh, j square l square s square right so use this eigenvalues here this is the first step next step if you try to uh, find the what is the maximum and minimum values so we know the j is equal to i mean j is equal to minimum and maximum values modulus of l plus s to the l minus s so the maximum possibility of l plus 1 divided by 2 minimum is l minus 1 divided by 2 these two conditions use these two conditions here i'm uh, i only use this word by using this condition put j is equal to l plus 1 here so i want to find the what is the extra term value interaction between the, the nucleons right so this is the extra term okay additional energy term so i want to find this energy values what is energy so j is equal to l plus one if i use this value then i can get this so if you try to solve simply so this is the main equation here if you solve this equation equation so similarly then you can get this information minus h cross square divided by the l and if you try to use the j is equal to l minus 1 divided by 2 then you can get this value so this is the all the simple uh, mathematical derivation you can easily understand so don't worry about this one
So these are the two things I can do. So finally, we know the Hamilton of the system. One is unpetrolable Hamiltonian, another one is petrolable Hamilton. If you try to look at this equation, so this is what we find the resultant values. So I know uh, this value, right? Minus uh, a, not a, uh, l dot s value I know. This energy level values I know. So if we consider uh, j is equal to l plus 1 state energy level, I can get this one, first equation. If you consider j is equal to l minus 1 by 2 state, then we can get this one. Okay. Did you understand right? So, unpetrable term. When this petrable term I corrected. So, if you use j equal to l plus s state, then you can get this one right. Equation this term. So, here I try to oh, find the equation. What is the difference between the nice one and one value? So, for that, I'm using is subtract and so here minus and minus i'm using these two terms are cancelled the remaining term is the length. l plus l plus one to l plus one but if this is the energy difference uh, of uh, nucleons so this is the final equation is very very important equation by using this equation we can arrange the nuclear energy levels Okay, so this is the delta E, very very important equation. So remember this equation. These are the terms, equations, you, whatever you want, you can remember. So this is what I want exact equation. By using this equation, I'm going to split this energy levels like this. So delta E, what are the possible to, to get delta E is a positive and negatives. Here I get the in case if you use uh, this type of uh, notation so e this is the possibility only possibility right this is one of the possibilities delta e is only possibility not the one of the possibility. delta e we can get the only possibility is the this one this is atomic uh, energy level arrangement here the higher j values are lies in the above like this okay so whereas come to the nucleus, so delta is energy level is negative. The only possibility condition is like this. This is the only possibility. So E less than E L minus 1 divided 1 divided by the state. Okay. J equal, this one J equal to 1 minus 1 divided by. So in this case, the higher J values are lies in below. This is the best example. Here, here I am arranged already. The, the highest J value is uh, lies in below. This is how the uh, atomic energy level, nucleus energy levels are arranged by using the L model. So these are the few examples S value. See here, these are these are all the nuclear energy level arrangement, not atomic energy level arrangement. Okay. So j is equal to 3 by the highest energy level lies in below. The highest energy level lies in below. Highest energy level lies in below. So these are the, you know, s equal to uh, s value l is equal to 0. Then we can get j is equal to 1 by divided by 2. p is equal to uh, 3 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 we can get. p is equal to 5 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2. How these energy states or I mean energy levels are arranged. Here we know the, the nuclear structure. So here I am arranging this SPDF like this. SPDUES. Okay. If egg dish of egg. So first in this letter you try to cancel the vowels well, expect uh, this one except the last I. Then you can get this one. Okay. After canceling these vowels. Well, Except this last I, then I got this type of. Uh, these are all shortcuts, okay. So then we divide this. Uh, I mean, separate these thing like uh, six and six. So the six terms. 
So these are the remaining six terms. Sorry, this one. The remaining two is this. These are the six terms. This is how the shell model energy levels are arranged. First, you need to arrange S orbital, P orbital, next D orbital, S orbital, F orbital, P state, G, D, S, H, F, P, I, G. You just remember this one. This is the interaction. Okay. So, which means P is interact. Sorry. So this P is intrusion into the F state. This S is intrusion into the D state. Okay. Here also same the thing. G is intrusion into the so this is how I arranged uh, its energy level P, D, S, P, D, S, D, sorry, S, P, D, S, F, P, G, D, S, H, F, P. See here. First one is the P. So we know L equal to 0. Then I split the energy levels S equal to 1 divided by 2. Then we can get. So we'll discuss this numbers later. Then P value I arranged here like this. So D, if you observe here, this D is uh, uh, combined this and S is combined with this D energy level set. This is why I use this. S state is interaction. I mean the intrusion into the D orbit state okay which is why if you observe the g is is uh, penetrated into the uh, i state see so this is how i arranged this energy of a nucleus so s p d f p g D S H F P. This is I, not G. Okay, I. Okay, G. Then I arrange these uh, uh, terms as terms. So we know right how to write these as terms. Okay, J. Or else you can remember this one x uh, sorry l j l plus s don't write this top terms here so uh, only focus on these terms so uh, this type of notation we observe in atomic and marker spectroscopy right so atomic and marker spectroscopy is we can observe this type of spectral terms l so what is the L here? L is equal to 0? Yes, right? So this is J. J is equal to 1. Point. Okay. So this one also. Example you can remember. This is the general notation. L J. Okay. L J. Here L plus S is there. Don't focus on this L plus S state here. Okay. So focus only on L J. Okay only focus on this portion nuclear physics not in atomic atomic physics uh, that is another case so nuclear physics you can focus this energy levels this is l means l is equal to s here the l is equal to p here p is split into the the two energy states right uh, it is interaction is spin 3 by 2 1 is 1 divided by 2 so as per the cell model uh, highest energy levels are lies in below, which is why I arranged the P is 3 divided by 2 here. So similarly, all the cases are similar. If you observe the, all the cases, so whatever the highest energy level is, I arranged in the below. Atomic case is completely opposite to uh, the mm, nuclear cases. Okay. So then they are arranged like this here. 
So energy levels 1 plus 1 that is 2, 4, 2, 6, 4, this is 4, this is 8, this is 4, 6, 2, 10, 8, 6, 4, like this I arrange all the energy levels. So after that I arrange this values this one is 2 okay this one is 2 2 plus 2 plus 4 6 okay and here the 6 plus 2 8 okay 8 plus 6 14 14 plus 2 16 so like that you can arrange all these things this is 20 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 8 28 28 plus 4 32 32 plus 6 38 38 plus 4 38 plus 2 40 40 plus 10 50 50 plus 8 okay, you can arrange like this so hi how are, you can remember this one year one is there right year one is there this is for only shortcuts year one is there two year three is there four year one is there two year five is there six yes you can remember like that simply okay so these are the magic numbers uh, 2 8 28 sorry 20 28 50 82 82 126 126 these are the magic numbers. by using this solve model we can uh, explain many properties so this is very very important information virtual model next class uh, we are going to discuss the uh, some important properties are there so shell model uh, explain existence of magic numbers the stability and high binding energy so the shell model also explain the ground state spin magnetic momentum of nuclei and shell models some isomers uh, existence of isobars, isotopes, nuclei, different energy levels or nuclei between the 29 for uh, 49 and uh, 6981 triple one to 125 has been explained by the shell model. The large difference in the nuclear spin of isostates are the uh, levels are closely related to the magnetic numbers. So some limitations are there. Uh, so next class we are going to focus on some problems. We try to solve one or two problems, then you can understand uh, why the solve model is important. Okay. So this is all about uh, the solve model. Next class we're going to try to solve the all the problems are uh, related to shell model. Okay, thank you.